Well, gaming could be moving from our computer screens to Olympic stadiums as part of renewed proposals to include it in the 2024 Paris Games. However, the International Olympic Committee is hesitant to greenlight e-sports, concerned that it might promote violence. And while professionals and parents champion their concerns, some argue that they're turning a blind eye to the violence that already exists in live sport. So how can parents teach their kids about the effects of violence on and off the field? Researcher and educator Dr Joanne Orlando from Western Sydney University joins us to discuss. Hi Jo, nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Uh, they say that 85% of video games contains yeah. violence. Is there a link between, uh, you know, what our kids see on screens and real life violence? Yeah, there's been lots and lots of research on this, but it's really quite divided. So we've got hundreds of studies that say yes, absolutely. If kids are playing violent video games, it leads to more aggressive behaviour in real life. It leads to them thinking more aggressively, like, you know, I'd like to punch him, that kind of idea. And also decreased pro-social behaviour, so less respectful re behaviour towards others. But then, on the other hand, equally, same number of studies saying no, no way, there's absolutely no link. And in fact, some of those studies just say, well, actually, Violent video games are a good release for kids, you know, that's where they put their aggression through and, you know, they're not in the playground pushing and shoving kids. But, you know, you have to look at these studies not at face value, you have mm. to take a step back and think, OK, they're only looking at short-term effects. So they're kids in labs, they get some kids playing video games and some kids not, and then they study the effects straight after. But we know long-term, you know, five or ten years of playing video games, watching violent movies, maybe playing an aggressive sport, you're getting the same message day after day, month after month, and it's going to affect what you think is appropriate and right behaviour. Sure. And is that message kill or be killed? Is that what the message is? Yeah, well, particularly in video games, it's about violence and about killing to the end. Yeah. But in something like sport, it's not about killing to the yeah. end, obviously, yeah. but it's about being aggressive, showing who's dominant physically. So different kinds of messages, but both about violence. Yeah, well, obviously, you know, I love sport and uh, we want to see kids, you know, enjoying sport as well. But as we know, no two children are created equal. No. You might get one 14-year-old who's 6 foot and 80 kilos, another one's 5 foot and 40 kilos. So is there a danger in sport, uh, you know, getting kids into young sport? What's the warning there to parents? Yeah, there is. Well, sport is great. I'm certainly not saying it's not. It's fantastic. Kids make heaps of friends and great skill development. But some sport, particularly that high-contact sport, can, one, lead to more physical risks for kids. So we're seeing now serious injuries in kids that we used to only see with professional sports. So in the last decade, there's been a 60% increase in kids having concussion. So this is school kids. And it also leads to promoting aggressive behaviour, but also some mixed messages for kids. So you're telling them to be kind to their friends and be nice in the playground, but you know, on the pl on the the football oval, mm. you know, slam him, don't be a princess. Right. So there's these mixed messages as well, which is pretty confusing for kids. Yeah, yeah for sure. the sidelines, don't oh, you? No, that's... definitely. We've all had good and bad coaches, yeah. you know. I only ever talked to my good coaches, and we've all seen those parents who are like, like you said, yeah. win at all costs. Yeah. So is competitiveness a bad thing? No, competitiveness is a good thing and knowing the rules and why, why they're there, mm. promoting skill development, fair play, that's a great thing. There's so many benefits for kids. But promoting a win at all costs <coughs> attitude, yeah, right. yeah, that's yeah. It. and kids don't want to play that, they drop out. How mm. do you, well, how nice it is, ice hockey is a yeah. sport that's absolutely, it's renowned for its fights, right? Absolutely. There's a dedicated Twitter account that's just for the fights. So mm -hmm. how do parents explain to their kids these moments? You're watching a game together, you're seeing this kind of full-on biffo, how do you explain it to them? Yeah, that's right, and it needs to be explained, so you shouldn't be barracking on the fights and things <laughs> like that. Um, so it's a good idea, if you see a fight, you're sitting with your child, you're watching it, to talk about well, what led up to that fight, what kinds of actions did the rules promote fighting in that way, is that particular player always pretty aggressive and, and what's the consequences for that player. And I think it's also, you know, we are a great role model for our kids, so it's promoting, um, supporting good, skilled playing. Yes. So you, you're shouting out to the, yes. to the yes. TV should be about that. Yes. And also explain to kids that the rules are there to actually protect kids and yes. other players from injuries. Right, Miss Ed. Terrific to have you with Thank us. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.